Okay, so all we're gonna do is slide the radio into this bracket here. Yeah. Um, it's a little tight, which is why I tried to loosen everything up. Yeah. Just to get it to go in, because it wants to catch on just about everything. Yeah, a lot of corners. Yep, so just keep feeding it in. Make sure you're getting that. Okay. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of low here. Oh, and I just hit it with my knee. No worries. There we go. Okay, so we'll keep feeding this in. Uh, it's a little difficult trying to do it this way. Normally, I just put it on the workbench. Yeah. But since we're videotaping, it's kind of like, eh. All right, let's loosen these up a little bit more. There we go. Ah, See how it slides nice. that, that much the better? Secret. So now here's the kind of tricky part, is you have to line it up in such a way yeah, that you to know get it's going to fit. Yep. My guess right now is that it's going to fit with these two bolt holes here, they just line up perfectly. Yep. Again, okay. just as if the uh, as if they were in cahoots with right. JVC and set this up to make it easy on you. Nice. So we're going to now steal. Actually, I want to keep this one in. I'm going to steal the front one. So we're going to steal one of these bolts because yeah. this one didn't have the bolts to come with it. And I'll just do them diagonally. And this one you definitely do want the two bolts for just because any movement at all, you're gonna have skipping issues. Yeah, well luckily I, they'll probably never use that CD player. It's just the the USB and the is, auxiliary end. Is this one USB on the front? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What I did, um, mine has a USB wire that comes out of the back with a cable on it. You can feed that through here, yeah, and into your glove box. Yeah, I thought about doing something like that because that's that's almost what I did. I almost didn't get one, but then I, um, I, uh, I just wanted it so I could swap, uh, swap them on the fly. Most people do yeah. until, and, yeah, until and, they realize that well, it sticks out of the dash. Exactly, that's the one thing I was gonna say. Is like when I when I get home, and I turn the car off. Yep. You know, I'm now gonna you gotta to remember. Unplug. Yeah. Because it's stealth mode. Yeah. You can't put I don't the tray want to leave up. it open. Yeah. So it's something to think about yeah. if uh, if you're purchasing the radio. On the, you know. I'll have Plus, to... And then another thing was the the between the models, this was the least expensive. You know, I mean, not that the ones know. that come out of the back are the most are more expensive. Yeah. Um, most people prefer it in the front until you start thinking about it. Yeah, exactly. So it I, took me a while before I yeah. got it. I kind of thought it through. This this will this will do me for for now. And you know, if I get the if I get the the you know urge to do it, I'll just do oh, it yeah. myself. You can you know, try it, try it, and well, now you know how to do it. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, this really is easy. Um, so it'll take a second to figure out the wiring. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to do the wiring last, but I'm just going to test fit it mm -hmm. just to see kind of where it sticks right, out, right. where we're at. So there, you can see all the holes will line up. Yep. It'll basically just press into place. Yeah. Um, do you have that? Yep. Right, tray. Okay, so we're good there. So that'll yeah. basically nice. be the finished product. Um, it fits. Yeah, that's so great. We wanted to test it, Perfect. make sure. So you're good to go. Pull it back out. <clears throat> now, let's see. Okay, so I'm done with this one. Okay. Uh, actually, well, I can hold it back here if you want. Can you? Okay. Yeah, there's space. It gives me a little bit of room. Got it. All right, so here comes the fun part. Because this is the part that everybody always asks me, and I'm like, dude, I did this so long ago <laughs> that just looking at the wires, I can't do it. Yeah. So what I have here is the normal aftermarket harness that you need to adapt to the factory. From, radio. yeah. So you're going to use your two main plugs. Um, for speaker and for power. In my case, um, I ran all new speaker wires because I was using a high-end amplifier. Okay. I didn't want to use the factory, so I wow. only used one of these plugs. Yeah. Um, so you went in and just manually laid the I pulled wire all from the all back. the way to the back, all the way to the front, went through Ooh. the door panel. That's probably the most pain in the neck part of that this. That sounds like it job. is. <laughs> so for you, this is easy. Yeah. Um, in my case, I could, since all I needed was three wires. Well, technically four, but all I needed was three wires. I could have, instead of using two harnesses, used one, 
and just all and, and, and built just tapped in. in. Yeah, yeah. I could use T taps if I knew what my color code was. I could T tap in. Right, right, right. This is a little more foolproof. Yeah, you're less likely to screw anything up. You're yeah. also not modifying your factory harness there you whatsoever. Go. Yeah, and I always want it so I can take my expensive stuff with me when the car goes. Yeah, when you're done, unplug and done. Yep. So to hook the wires up, we're just going to use the standard butt connectors. Okay. is what I call them, crimp connects, yeah, whatever yeah, you want to no, call them. Works. So we just basically insert the wire in there, just like that. Get it nice and tight, and you'll want to judge where the uh, metal is in there. Right. Obviously, you don't want to crimp way on yeah. the end, or else it ain't going to work. So. Get it in there, crimp it. A good set of crimps will make a nice solid crimp and always try to pull it out. Yeah, make sure you can't get Just in case, out of there. yep. They make right. the black one longer if you're going to do a chassis ground, but all the wiring harnesses have grounds on them, so pretty much nobody uses it anymore. Yeah. So just to clean up your wiring, um, I just try just, to cut them all the yeah. same length. So, Oliver! Mm -hmm. Oh, the neighbors must be out. So on these ones, you have to strip them. Oops. So all I'm doing is just continuing to crimp connect all these. Okay. And then they'll all go together. What I'm gonna do here, instead of using the T-taps, uh, which is what I used on my original setup, it's a little cumbersome, um, is to put the harnesses together into one uh, butt connector and then connect that to your radio harness. This harness will plug into your factory radio. All you really need for the factory radio is the um, three major wires, your 12 volt switched, your 12 volt constant, and your ground. So we're going to splice all those together. This harness is the one that's going to adapt into the factory harness here. So uh, I hope that makes a little bit more sense. And we'll use a blue crimp connect because it's a little bit bigger. So when I twist those wires together, it's going to fit better. <laughs> Down it goes. <laughs> Glad I have a whole bunch of these. <laughs> Dude, leave knew it, that was going to happen. Leave, leave it there. I'll, I'll get it later if you don't need totally. it. Totally. I mean... Okay, Lord knows actually... I'll probably find all kinds of Cheerios or whatever in there over the last next <laughs> couple months, so. All right, get a nice solid connection on that one. All right, so find more and see if I can keep these from falling apart. <laughs> okay. Making a mess of your front seat, by That's the way. That's not a problem at all, man. Okay. Okay, so now that we have those spliced together, we're going to attach them to the stereo harness. And you have those same three wires right here. And they'll just go in. Now, that's because you have a blue connector, these technically should be using red if you're only using one. So right. just make sure you hold it fairly tight yeah. while you're getting ready to crimp it. Because as soon as you let go, the sucker will want to pop yeah. out. So yeah. I crimp it as hard as I can with the one hand once I'm pretty sure it's going to stay. Cinch yeah, it nice. down. Yep, nice. And hope you don't accidentally put them in the wrong one because then you gotta start. <laughs> and then you gotta cut. Which is why I learned a long time ago you don't talk to your friends while you're doing wiring. Yeah. Because you always end up, hey, what, how'd that happen? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, how did I put the red to the black? Yeah. That's a big no no. <laughs> um, another way you can do this too, if you're worried about it, and you want it to fit a little more snug, you can strip more of the wire back, oh, fold, fold it, it over, yeah, there you and go. that'll give you a little yeah, bit more. Yeah. So um, in this instance, I don't think I'm gonna need to, but it's just an option. Yeah. The set for like, well, it was like all, it included the back one for 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. Looked at the, the seller was from Sacramento. 
So I sent him a message directly on, on eBay and he's like, yeah, let's just meet up. So I met up and got all the four regular floor mats for like, I think he sold them to me for 60, 50 or 60 bucks, something. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, so that's pretty, dude. That's, that's your finished harness right there. That's perfect. This will go to the radio. These are going to go to all your associated harnesses here. Yeah. Let's pray that I put them all back together correctly. We'll find out. All right, so <laughs> at this point, again, this one's going to go to your radio. Yep. Um, you're going to obviously plug them in as they appear. It's going to make sense that way. Yeah. They can't go the other way. This one will still go back into your factory radio, yep. as will this one. The only one that's not going to are these speakers here. Yeah. Which is what I'm hoping are speakers. And that, yeah, and that'll go from uh, the yeah. <laughs> regular radio. And then, yeah, you should be good to go. Um, always remember to plug your antenna back in because if you go through this whole process and it doesn't work, <sighs> and if you're silly enough to put the dash back together before trying the radio, yeah. you're not going to be happy. <laughs> you're going to be really upset. So let's go ahead and get the radio. I think I've, I think I remember doing that something like that when I was like, I was younger, trying to do something myself, and I wish I could everything. say I did it when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> Putting it back together before. Actually, let me show you. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Hear that? That's that's a good All sign. All right. Yeah, you got power. All right. There's no smoke. Yeah, no, that's exactly. That's always a good sign. Yep. So now we'll clean this wire up a little bit here. This will go into your factory radio. Cool, cool. I don't know if you can see it, but this is going to go into the factory back okay. piece right here. Gotcha. You're going to be missing the speaker one, yep. which shouldn't make any difference because nope. all you really need to do is power this up. Yeah. And then your other factory wire will go right back in there. Cool. So cool, cool. this is piece of cake. They're a little bit tight, so make sure you get them all in. Yeah. And we'll plug this one in. If you didn't have these cloths here, as you can see, they were slipping, you're going to scratch the yeah, heck out of yeah, the piece yep. here. It's kind of a clean looking piece. So yeah, it is. You don't want to mess them up. You don't have a lot of room to, to play to with maneuver. here. So yeah. make sure you plug the antenna into your new radio. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds silly, but stranger things have happened. Which side is yours on? So I guess there it is. Can you see it? All right, cool. Yeah. Okay. So now you just kind of finesse it in and tuck it in where you need to to get it to, to actually fit. You're going to have to kind of tuck the wires a little bit. Yeah. But you don't even have to cinch it in at this point. Let's just put the face plate on and try to power it up and see yeah, what happens. See how it goes. Um, on this one, you're on. Okay, and is when you do it, you always, before you put anything back together, make sure all of it works. You right. Make sure, you know, your um, AM, FM will work. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, you want to do, the most important part is you want to check your balance and fade. Fade to the front and back, listen for right. the difference. Right. Go left and right on balance. Make sure you, that way you did, in case you have your wires crossed. So, at this point, we know you can pull in Hispanic <laughs> radio stations. Perfect. So, I'm good, good to go. go. I don't need anything else. So, we're going to go ahead and power it off. Take this, well, actually, I don't even need to do that. So you're good. We'll take your key out. Here you go. Yeah, awesome. And we'll put it together. Yep. I think it's good to go. You're set, brother. So it just basically snaps into place. Yeah. Just like it did. Um, this is where it'll make it a little bit tricky, but we'll go ahead and bolt this in because we need this in before I put the shroud.